Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to finally do the Dyson review. This bad boy right here is the Airwrap and I have been trying it for about a month now and I have a lot of thoughts. Before we start, if I sound funny and my mouth looks funny, it's because I got braces. <laughs> uh, yes, they. I am 31 years old and I just got braces, but um, I've been needing them for quite some time. My bite is pretty bad and just the opportunity came and here we are. Yes, they, they hurt pretty bad right now. I can barely talk and I don't know, my mouth is kind of sore, but I'm hoping I can get used to them and they won't hurt forever. So I hope you guys can deal with this. Uh, I hope it's not too distracting because, you know, I was a little bit like questioning if this is a smart thing for me to do while starting YouTube, but uh, this is real life and uh, this had to happen at some point in now it's the time. So this is very expensive. It is $550 and I did get it 20% off when the Sephora sale came. This is pretty heavy. I do like it. I do like that I get this box because it's easy for me to store it. Now it's obviously you're not going to travel with this thing but um, mine came with like a little pouch that you can put your things if you want to travel with. So you open it up and it has this top layer. You can use this to um, put it down, like put your blow dryer on it. And these are all the attachments inside. I do have the long barrel here that I purchased on my own. So this doesn't come in the scent, but I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, and you have the head for the blow dryer. This just attaches to the top and you can just blow dry your hair a little bit. Um, then you have this is the smoothing brush. This is supposed to just smooth your hair and kind of give you a just a little bit of volume but more of a smooth look to your blow dry. And this one right here, it's supposed to make it straighter and with less frizz. And then you have this round brush. It's a round brush. And then you have the other attachments. You get a 1.6 uh, barrel and you get two of each because they go in different directions. I'll talk about it more. And then you get the 1.2 barrel. So that's what you get in this um, box. I'm gonna put it down because my hand hurts, it's so heavy. Moving on to this tool. This is the base, this is where the engine is and everything. Uh, a couple things, um, you can control the heat here, um, well here, uh, and you can make it you know, very hot up to cold and then how um, powerful it is. You turn it on and off here and the cool button, uh, you just, push it all the way up, which is very practical and needed. And this is how you attach or uh, de de detach, detach the uh, head that you choose to use. So this is just the blow dryer set. So you just put it in there and it just locks in. And if you want to take it out, you just push this down and pull it out. Pretty self-explanatory. Now my hair is kind of medium thickness and it is it has curl to it, natural wave. I wouldn't say it's super curly, but it does have wave and if I diffuse it, I can get it pretty curly. So I did just wash my hair and I'm gonna show you all the different attachments and kind of tips and tricks that I've learned. And um, that's about it. So I'm going to try every single one for you. I'm just going to do like small section. I can't talk. I'm just going to do small sections all throughout um, and kind of show you guys how it works. And I'm also going to insert little clips for when I'm going to do the curling portion because I think people are intrigued by that. And what is the different style that you can get with these so let's start with my least favorite brush head. This is a firm straight brush. I don't know exactly how they call it, but 
this is pretty these are pretty firm and for my type of hair i just felt like it didn't grab the hair enough and it made it straight but it says this is supposed to help with flyaways and for me i felt like i had more flyaways with this one compared to this one this on the other hand is absolutely perfect i love it it works so well it really grabs the hair and it gives it a very very smooth finish to the, the the hair this is okay i don't have fine hair so maybe for fine hair it would work better but for my type of hair that has like some wave to it i really like this one so I'm not even going to show you guys how this one works because they are very similar but I do enjoy how this one works just a little bit better and I don't think you guys would notice a difference in the camera. I did forget to mention one thing about this is that the filter is down here and you do get I'm going to I'm going to grab it. So in case you don't read instructions, this little a guy in here, you get this and this is supposed to help you clean the filter so you have to take this out you can actually open it Whoop. you can actually open it like this and pull it out so this one you want to soak it in warm water with some soap for about 30 minutes and then go and clean it off and you use this guy to kind of just brush it off so all the dust and all the things um, comes off which i obviously didn't do because there's a bunch of dust here um, and you can also use this in here to just make sure this is all clean so there's not dust because this will shut down on you if you don't clean it well not right away but over time if you get too much product here too much hair or dust this will shut overheat and shut down so that is worth mentioning and i do have their blow dryer as well i use it in the salon and it's the same thing like if i don't keep up with cleaning that uh, it will shut down on me which actually just happened monday <laughs> moving on to this head uh, i absolutely love this head i love that it has these little balls that like really help pull the hair and this has an interesting way that we, it works i'll show you so this moves it moves up and down and up and down and so like the air comes from there and when you go down it pushes the air down that way it goes with the cuticle so you don't get flyaways and you know if you move it this way or this way the air moves around which i really like because the air shouldn't come all out right here because it's gonna give you frizz because it moves moves against the cuticle um and so this is actually very smart that um, these little things actually move. I haven't seen that before. Another trick with all these, I think it's important to have just damp hair. Do not come in here with soaking hair because it's going to take you forever and you won't have great results. So that's what I've learned. My hair is kind of starting uh, to be a little bit more dry than it should be. So I'm going to spray down and I'll be right back. All right, I sprayed it down just a little bit and I'll just show you how easy this is to use. I just turn it on. And just go at it. Okay, so this kind of took me maybe less than less than two minutes to do um and this is the look i got and it's still a little bit wet but i don't want to completely dry it yet because i am going to wet it down in just a little bit but it kind of gives you guys an idea of what you can get um i really like this brush i feel like if I, I really grabs the hair and pulls it and smooths it down um, so this this is so good and you could definitely get a little bit more volume if you put it under and lift it up 
rather than pulling it down. I do think a lot of people can get a lot of use out of this brush, even if you have curlier hair than mine and thicker. If anything, that would be even better because it's gonna take your time, of your blow drying time, uh, cut it in half because you're actually smoothing it out, not just blowing it everywhere. So. For me, I really uh, like this uh, head. I think it's so practical. It works for my type of hair so well. And yeah, I like the look that it gives in the end. So let's move on to the next one. I'm gonna show you the round brush. Okay, moving on to the round brush. This is a one that I didn't f use it in the first couple weeks. I don't know why, I just felt like, oh, it's kind of small and I'm used to bigger brushes, mostly for my longer hair. And I just, I just wasn't really interested in it. But one morning I used it and I was kind of in a rush and I just wanted to do my bangs. Like I have curtain bangs. So I really wanted to smooth those out. And I ended up doing my whole hair with this because it gave me good volume. I like that it gave a little bit of curl to it. Now, I don't think that it's like curly. It just gives a, a little twist at the end. So I'll show you. These are my bangs. And it really grabs the hair. I really like it. So I clipped my hair back so you can kind of see the difference. Uh, this has a little bit more wave to it, you know? It, um, it has a little curl at the bottom, a little twist, and I really like the way it it works on my bangs. This is more straight, and I'm not doing it just because, justice. I need to learn <laughs> to talk with these braces. It, I don't think it does it justice because it is not completely dry, but I think you can kind of see the idea, the difference that you can get. With this one, you can really get like a blowout at the salon, and I really, really like it. And this is just a little bit more straight and smooth. I will say all I have in my hair is the protective uh a protective spray and that's about it i have no styling uh creams or anything like that to help the blowout okay i'm going to spray it down again and i'm going to move to the barrels the curling barrels and talk to you guys a lot about those hair is damp and we're moving on to the barrels the way these work these have little uh, slits in here that push the air down. So your hair wraps around this and gets blow, blow dried. So it produces heat, obviously you use heat, um, but it's air. It's not between two metal, hot metal plates. Oh, I scraped my, sorry. It's not between two metal plates that like, pushes the hair and uh, makes it go into form, it uses air. So it's a big difference the way your hair feels when you curl it with the air wrap and when you curl it with just um, hot tools. Because this makes your hair like light, airy. The other one, it kind of weighs it down because you're using that heat to like smooth out the hair it almost pulls that volume out of it, right? So you need to kind of use curl at the root or some other way to give yourself volume. But this, this uses air, and because of that, it, it really is more airy. When, when I first used it, I was like, wow. It wasn't even the way it looked so much, it's the way it felt. It felt so airy and bouncy. So I will show you guys. I'm gonna use the long barrel. I'm sorry, the bigger barrel. Now, I wish I got the longer barrel in this size as well, but it was sold out actually everywhere, so yeah. But um, 
I have trouble with this one with my longer hair because if you can see here, it gets wrapped around here where it runs out of space a little bit and it keeps coming down because this is close to the same size as the the lower part the engine part and so the hair kind of wraps around this way so if i had the longer one i think it would be okay i didn't have the same issue with the small one because let me put this down because as you can see it's smaller so the hair kind of gets stuck around here it doesn't go all the way down so for me i am going to purchase the longer barrel or yeah, longer barrel than this. This has uh, little arrows that tells you which way the air has to wrap around. So I know the hair wraps, has to wrap around this way, so it's gonna go on this side, and this has arrow on this side, so the air is gonna wrap around this side. So, uh, I think it's very smart to section your hair when doing this. I think it's almost impossible to use it if you don't section. So I will section this side and start. Okay, the trick is to start at the end and not have your hair too wet. If it's too wet, it's not going to do well. If it's too dry, it's not going to hold a curl. So I think it's very important to have it just perfect just them so um i've seen a lot of people put it here and like the hair kind of gets lost and like kind of messy so the curl isn't perfect so it's very important to start at your ends and i think it's gonna make it easier overall so you turn it on and see the hair wraps around and it goes close. And now I'm pushing the cool air because that's gonna lock in the curl. But you have to kind of wait until the cool air comes. That's my only negative, that it, it takes a little bit to get cool. And you have to turn it off. Don't pull it out when it's still going because the hair is just gonna go everywhere. So there you go. Our forefathers are here. Yes. So let's move on to the next one and I'll just do this section. I won't do the back um, because I do have a video of me doing it that I'm going to insert it now. I finish this side uh, it's very important to let it sit like this don't go right ahead and try to you know loosen the waves or the curls because they need to cool down and your curls or these won't give you these kind of curls they'll loosen up but it's gonna last a little bit longer so I'm going to take another minute or so let the, the this last section cool off and then we'll kind of brush through and show you kind of how it looks okay I feel like they're 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 cool enough so I just kind of run my fingers through it and you can even use a brush to brush it that's also good and it gives you these bigger curls. I'll insert a couple pictures here to show you how it looks when the whole hair is done. So let's move on to the next one. So I am going to use the long barrel because it's faster and I really recommend the long barrel if you have long hair because ugh, it takes so much, so much less time. So I will still separate my hair usually I do three sections in this way check on the baby all as well 
Okay, so this whole section, because I have the longer barrel, I'm actually going to do it all in one. So you could definitely separate it, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use this. Again, at the end first, turn it on, then go and see catches it. And you can manipulate the hair to go in, you know, kind of like guide it from the top. And see, this one has tighter curls. Uh, it's just tighter than that one. I'm gonna mess this up now you can definitely use a brush and you'll see that this is much curlier than this side I feel like I'm not giving it um, a good representation by just you doing a little bit but um, hopefully the little pictures and videos will help you and there you go see how airy and just like bouncy it is like i feel like you can at least tell here that it's like it doesn't just it's not weighted down so i really like that about this this is the one time i wish i had some highlights to actually show the curls because it's so dark i feel like you can't see much but it gives you guys an idea i do have to say that i don't think this lasts as long as when you use your hot tools but it's very easy to touch up in the mornings so if you know you get sweaty at night and your curls come back in or it just gets a little bit messier it's easy to um, fix in the morning like in five minutes you're done i have one more way to show you and i'm actually gonna do my whole head with that because i have never tried it all over the hair i've just kind of tried sections um because i researched it and there's a way to kind of make like beachy waves with this so i will wet my whole head again and i'll be right back all right our hair is damp uh, i will say one important thing with this is dry your roots because if you can dry your roots like uh, it's so much faster and easier so i didn't even wet my roots much at all i kind of just left it the way it was so i am going to use the big uh, barrel the long barrel and i am going to show you how you can also achieve some more loose waves because you know yes these big curls are pretty but like not everybody wants to wear that every single day let's see how um how this will work on just like a more beachy wave so i'm going to section my hair i'm actually going to section it in half first because again you use one barrel on one side one on the other you don't want to have to switch around so this one goes this way so i'm gonna put a clip here okay so i um i should have done it on this side because the trick with this one is you have to go over like this so i have to use the opposite head for this one so the one that would normally go on this one that's what i'm going to use because i'm turning it so the air will flow this way now it will make more sense uh if you're actually using it but the way you do this just take a section and it's kind of like a wand you put it here and you keep it this way leave the end out and start blood drying it okay 
and you get this kind of curl that's more straight at the end and hopefully it will loosen up and look good i don't know let's try all right i don't know how this will do with super curly hair because if your ends are extremely curly you may have to go over and like flatten them but i will do my whole hair like this uh, i don't want to keep you here forever so i am going to do my whole hair and come back and kind of mess it up with you so I'll be right back okay so i finished the whole head i haven't touched it yet but i did get better on this side and so uh this is the first time and i feel like it's a little bit more frizzy and this side is a little bit more like tamed so what i'm going to do now i am going to put my fingers through it and try to break this up a little bit See? So the ends are, oof, <laughs> the ends are like more straight here. Uh, and if you can tell this side, I kind of learned how to do it. And I feel like this, the ends are a little bit more straight than this side. It just takes practice. I will spray my hair a little bit. I want it a little bit less perfect. And I will flip my hair. And see what we got. I keep looking here because there's a tiny mirror that I can kind of see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so I feel like you can kind of get a more beachy wave. I don't love that these front pieces are flipping. Um, like the ends. I'm trying to straighten them a little bit. But even if you take, you know, your hot tool, like your flat iron, just flat iron a couple pieces to get more of that, you know, effect, it would work. Okay, so now we have it all done. And I showed you now three ways that you can kind of curl your hair with this. Now, the big question, is it worth it? Um, and I can't answer that because I don't know your needs. I don't know your financial situation. And, you know, I don't know how your hair is. For me, personally, it is worth it because it gives me certain looks that I can't get, even if with a blow dry. Um, I think it's very unique. It helps also my time, like when I want to blow dry my hair straight. And being a mother of four, it's it's not easy <laughs> to get time. So I like that it's all in one hand. You can do everything with one hand, except oh, if you like do this style, you kind of have to hold the end out. Although I found a technique, I'll show you. So I put this like this, and I just leave the end out. Now this will is not turned on, but like this will just hang out down like this. So. You don't even need to use two hands with that either. So for me, it's practical. It makes my hair look good and it works with my hair. And I like the fact that I'm not damaging my hair every single time I like curl my hair or smooth it out or anything like that. So for me, it is worth it. I'm glad I have it, but I can't say, oh my gosh, this is I recommend it to everybody because I don't. Some people do not need it and some people, um, you know, won't use it even if they have it and they spend all this money. That That's kind of what happens in life. You know, you kind of buy something that you really want and many times you don't end up using it, mostly with makeup and hair. So far, I've been liking it. I keep wanting to reach for it. Um, the only negative is the price. I don't love that it doesn't last as long uh, as whenever I use hot tools, which is understandable because you, you, you're you not damaging your hair. Um, 
and then i also wish you could kind of customize what you get not everybody needs all these products and i for one this little tool right here i am never gonna use it because i don't like the way it looks in my hair so that's another thing that and i wish you could customize it i wish that these big things came in the kit and you could pick if you want a short one or a long one i hope this was kind of informative and uh if you have any questions or if i missed anything uh ask me down below i will always answer everybody's questions so with that being said thank you for being here if you're new here don't forget to subscribe down below and give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.